in third phase now we have the stack ready vpc stack is there all the instances are up and running we have the controller third phase is all about doing ssh to all these instances and doing the execution installing packages and running all the operating system commands it's not possible to controller to do ssh to this instance because they are in a different vpc they are in v profile vpc or controller is in default vpc right a controller is in default vpc all the instances are in v profile vpc and they are in private subnet so you cannot access it from the outside world one way is you can do vpc peering that will be fine when you do the execution first time but if you want to do a regular execution you need to have your controller in the v profile vpc what you can do is you can use the bastion host as a controller you can install ansible there you can install boto and pull your you know clone your playbooks and execute it from there that's one way and that will be also convenient right just directly do ssh to bastion host run the ansible setup set up the im role and execute playbooks from there okay but if that is more confusing to you the easiest solution is you can create an ami of controller and launch the instance from that ami into v profile vpc that will be much easier so your controller be will be just like a bastion host in the public subnet so you can access it and then from there you can execute your playbook so i'm going to do that i'm going to create an ami image create image image of controller i'll name it as controller ami and say create image So AMI is getting created. It's going to take some time. Now, very important point to note over here: if you are doing this in the project in a real-time environment, then remember when you are going to launch your controller in your secure VPC, then it will be just like the Bastion host. So, as I talked about the Bastion host, it should be stable, safe, and secure. Same applies then to our controller machine also. and it will be much better if we use a hardened ami from amazon marketplace like from cis center of internet security or any other ami any other hardened ami that you prefer you better go with an hardened ami so it becomes very difficult to exploit your controller machine if you want to try any hardened ami you can do that but let me tell you it's not going to be free there are charges for the hardened amis we have seen that So for the project exercises that we are doing you can keep it as we are doing but in a project make sure you take a hardened ami Okay so ami state is available now i can launch it So I'll go with t2 micro and i am going to select a vpc that we created and we're going to select a public subnet We can select public subnet 2 we already have bastion host in public subnet 1 and that should be it let's go next we'll give a name as v profile hyphen controller security group i'm going to put it in the same security group as the bastion host security group so we can do ssh to bastion host so we can do ssh to the controller host also also our v profile stack security group allows 22 access from bastion host so it makes sense to use bastion host security group let's launch we'll keep the same login key okay so once our v profile controller is up in the vpc in v profile vpc okay it's it got created now we don't need this controller the older one so we can just delete that terminate it action instance state terminate we'll get the ip of our new controller and let's make a login yeah let's log in now remember this is the exact clone of our previous controller there is very less difference apart from it's being it being a, in a different network in a v profile vpc Okay everything is up to date 
Okay, we can make a login test from here. We log into one of the instance from our vProfile stack. We have the login key. Can use that login key, SSH hyphen I, login key. And we need to get the IP, private IP. Username, they are all Ubuntu. So you should, username should be Ubuntu. And yes, we are able to log in. That's awesome. Okay, log out.